Good morning all. It is February. Goodness, I'm not quite sure how we got to February. Um, right, before we go on to talk about my latest make, I'm going to tell you about, isn't this gorgeous? This is in Rowan Mordell. Now we're going to make sure we tell you this because when I wear something hand knitted and we put a video out there, we've not said what it is. I get loads of messages going, can you tell me what it is? So this is Rowan Mordell, which is this here. It's gorgeous. It's British wool and British alpaca. Smells amazing. It's beautifully soft. And look at this for a wrap. It's not mine. You can see it is actually a Rowan display garment. So I haven't uh, magic some hours in the day to make it, but I am absolutely in love. If I don't make it, because I think this, I think it's really, really lovely. Then there's something wrong. Uh, so that's what we're wearing. But this is what we're making. So I am making the Rain Boom Mal by Miss Neris. Now I only started last night. This is my working pattern. You can see me crossing the rows off last night as I watched the end of Les Miserables when my husband was with the Super Bowl. I need a brooch on this, I think. Um, so it is made out of one of these stone washed and river washed Shapiers colour packs. 58 colours in there in the most gorgeously cute mini balls. So that's what I started with. Um, and this is where we are now. What I will say, I just said to Amy, I had this box on the front seat of my car, went out on Friday night, and I'd cut it so I could take some pictures. And a friend of mine, I was getting a friend of mine lift home, and I went to pull it out of the car and threw them 58 balls all over the car park. So at 11 o'clock on Friday night, I'm scrambling around a car park in Stockton Heath in Warrington, putting all these balls back in. So what I have done, you use every colour for this rain boom man. You make triangles, and then you sew the triangles together. But can you see every single ball of yarn? every single colour has gone through. So what I've done to make it a bit easier, these were in number order last night, they're not now because it's moved as I've carried it a bit this morning. But these are, I've see I've numbered every ball and put them in number order so it's easy for me to find it. And this is where I got to last night. It's a really, really lovely, simple pattern. Not much thinking to go on. You are increasing and decreasing as you go along. And I say, I'm, at the moment I'm doing three I was, do was doing three rows in every colour, now I'm on two. But it's just a delight and the sense of finishing, look, because you just cut in a little bit. I mean, this say this was just last night and I just love the fact that that sense of satisfaction you get from snipping off a ball. There are going to be quite a few ends to sew in, but I quite like my ends to sew in. And I just think this is going to look fabulous come springtime. Now the Make Along is hosted on the Shapies Facebook group and we're also doing it in our Facebook Make Along group where I'm going to show you what I'm making. There, I was due to start it at the weekend and only started it on Sunday. Um, and a few people did point out that I had made a promise to start on Saturday, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make this through the whole month of February and I'm using my trusty clover hook that I always use as well. So that's me keeping me busy.